Everyone, welcome back to another episode of Shinmi Gami Tensei Nocturne. We are about to go to the third Kalpa. We're gonna go deep. We gotta dive deep into the cursed area where we got the money on the uh when we went to the third Kalpa before. Also, I think if we look in the peephole, we get a new side quest. Not a side quest, but a, a new cutscene. I thought it was the third Kalpa. I'm pretty sure it's the third Kalpa. The cursed area. What seems to be the matter? Oh, it is the second Kalpa. Yeah, you are right. Okay. My master is resting right now. That's a very rare item that you have there. It's called the Afterlife Bell. It has the power to resurrect wandering souls. I thought it was still hidden in the labyrinth of Amala. You thought, but I found it. A mannequin must have stolen it and fled, in hopes of returning to the Vortex world. Speaking of which, do you know how mannequins are born? No, actually. I would like to know. They are originally fragments of human emotions. Fragments. Okay, I was wondering, like, how uh, Futomimi and the other guy basically were born. Like, because if their souls were trapped down there, how the hell did, you know, Futomimi and Saga, the crazy killer guy, like, become basically a new being while having their soul trapped down here so th this explains this okay this is interesting okay when the conception took place tokyo was purged of humans unfortunately it was a necessary step toward the rebirth of the world but even after they died, their souls lingered. And likewise, their emotions. Wait, so did they get rid of every other living being too? Like cats and dogs? Because I don't see no pets out here. You can't pet nobody out here. It's just demons. Weak emotions dissipated instantly, but strong ones remained. Those emotions sought receptacles and found refuge in the substance closest to life. Earth. They merged with the Earth, and took shape one after another. For some, they became what they longed to be. For others, a side of them that they abhorred surfaced. Human emotions became mannequins and inhabited the Vortex world. Creation is forbidden to them. And their very existence will be denied once the new world has been born. This messed up. But some mannequins have possessed exceptional strength. If you bring them back to life with the afterlife bell, they might join you and help you during your journey, even if it's only for a short while. Perhaps it's worth a try. I think it's time for you to go back. There are still things you have to do. All right, Kanye, time for you to go back and, uh, you know, go into the labyrinth. It's like, damn, you ain't gonna heal me, lady? Fuck off. Lady said, nah, you gotta pay that. I'm trying to get healed. Like, aren't you always taking care of Lucifer? Take care of me, goddammit. That got me going all the way back to the fountain, lady. Just to heal? That's an inconvenience for me. And then, when I can heal, y'all want to charge me an arm and a leg? With the, the dude in here? Like, no thanks. So it's a little bit easier to deal with this. Like, at least that one didn't have random freaking people, like, or random boulders in the way half the time. So we are here in the second Kalpa. We have to drop down to get ourselves 
to a comfortable area. That's I'm not comfortable having that health. No one else can heal right now because I am a very poor lad who just doesn't have a lot of demons with a, a lot of stone or a lot of uh, MP or HP. Or that heal at least. So we need to go to the top left, I, I do believe. We need to drop down and it yeah, this shouldn't be too hard because we already mapped it out. <laughs> Gotta go find the star key. Gotta go fast. And then there's a star key door in the third Kalpa that we gotta go unlock. It's about to be madness, bro. I got you going through all these freaking Kalpas back and forth just to get to the next one. Y'all playing with my emotions and I don't like it. Got me doing all this up and down for no reason. Luckily, I don't have to like... Yeah, I think this area might not be cursed anymore because he's gone, right? Hasn't been undone. You can go now. Yeah, thanks to me, asshole. It's crazy. I undo the curse, and this dude wants to act like I didn't do nothing. Telling me something I already knew. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, these dudes are like, yeah. You thought it was safe to come out and play? Oh, no. I'm going to be on the safe side, just in case they want to try to do something. Hi, right, soldier, please heal us. Sucks that you can only use prayer in battle, but you know, it is what it is. Red Rider, take over Hellbiker. Somebody got froze. Uh-huh. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew somebody was coming out here with some bullshit, and it was that guy. Don't worry. Red Rider's coming back. Stronger than ever. I was not trying to get hit by a Hades, a critical Hades blast, bro. No, a new enemy appears. Well, I'm glad I switched in who I swapped in. I don't think that's gonna work on them. <sighs> like, bro, what y'all looking over there? Y'all looking there? Crazy. How would these dudes be weak against? I wonder. Oh, I think I should prayer. Uh, death bounding with yeah. I'm a I'm a glacial blast. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, they are weak against physicals. Oh, say, say goodbye, assholes. Say goodbye. Oh my God, that hurt. <laughs> Panic, boy, sir. Yeah, I need you to panic. Mm. Bro, why do they give us a shit ton of... Actually, we might be able to, like, kind of farm down here. 
when you're like early level because you can beat those dudes up i think just using certain abilities if you know like you're gonna run into them because we ran into them but i ran away when um we ran into them before damn we probably could have used that spot to level up earlier on Hey, bro, come back later and uh, I'll, I'll hook you up with some weed, bro. I'll tell you something you might want to know. My drinking buddy is somewhere up in Tokyo getting hammered. He's got the key that opens the golden doors. Loki? He's got the key that opens the golden doors, bro. Yeah, he's, he's probably getting hammered, drinking his favorite Mike's Hard Lemonade. That's his favorite. I don't know why. His brother's kind of a dick sometimes, but you know, he loves him. So now guys, everybody on YouTube, here's where I just backtrack and sim simply just speed this up because we got to just go to Loki's bar or Nix's lounge and then talk to Loki. So I'll see you guys in a quick second. I am out of that labyrinth. I'm getting mad because I'm tired of navigating this stupid ass dungeon. It's toxic. Random encounters, bro. Random encounters. Random encounters and just, just this absolute toxic dungeon design, bro. Wait, can I fuse anybody new here? Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather. Well, we can get Callie. I think I remember having her fused. Anybody special we can get right now? We can fuse Odin. Ufu, Augie. We do be needing some fire. He'd have Bufu. Him getting Bolt Storm, I feel like, is actually a move he would learn by himself. I could just have another demon. Who would I get rid of? It would be Red Rider. And uh, both my best demons, basically. Probably wait on that. Oh? Are you sure? Hmm. Oh. All right. All right. So let's go to Nix's Lounge. Nix's Lounge should be like not too far. Hold it. You again. What the star key? <laughs> <laughs> I drank the damn things, or I might have. I drank the damn thing, or I might as well have. What? I, he said he drank it? I sold it to a curious mannequin. I needed the money with, with my room being raided uh. and all. The booze helps, bruh. You should've, you should've helped me earlier, bro. You would be in this uh, situation right now. So now we're gonna go to the collector's mannequin. Imagine skipping the story and not paying attention to anything. You're like, man, what the fuck is he talking about? A mannequin, what? Anyway, most normal people wouldn't even be this far. They just already beat the game already, because I don't know how you would just naturally get here by yourself, to be honest. We're going to go ahead. We're going to go to... I guess I got to go to Asakusa, because he's not in the Ginza Underpass no more.
So the collector should be in this shop. We took all of our money already. I think we... Oh, no, yeah, we bought all the Magatomas, man. By the way, we're still on the fourth. We're still on the fourth floor. The fourth caliper. Oh baby, we'll definitely be finishing the game tomorrow. They are weak against fire, I know. But I think in the in a later game, they're also weak against water, which would make sense as well. They're weak against ice or water, I guess. Alright. Welcome. Well. Chakra drop. You know what? Hmm. It's not a bad investment. Oh. Yeah. Well. I'm gonna save the rest for some well. hard Mitamas. I'm about to go get my Mitamas. Empower the hell up out of my current demons right now. What do you want? I got this from a demon for 60 Maka the oh. other day, bro. He he was down that bad. I'm not interested in it. I'm only interested in the man-made item, so I'll give it to you if you like. Yeah. That's what I'll do. What do you want? I scared having my own shop, but I want to go search for something that nobody's ever seen That's before. That's right. What do you want? I wonder if I should join your party. Bro. Well, I'll do it. If we can do most of the final labyrinth or most of the final uh, floor of Amala tonight, then we will pretty much be beating this game for sure tomorrow. But if it if it starts pissing me off. I'm probably just gonna say no. <laughs> just get my pixie and dip. Like I said, I'm gonna get my pixie, I'm gonna leave, and I'm out. Get my OD pixie, and I'm going home. So we got the star key, we just need to get to the Amala Labyrinth, which we should be able to just Use this to go to the main terminal and use the terminal to go to Amala Network. Oh my god, they really made you do all this work. And we still, we can't even go back to the fourth caliper yet. Because I think we gotta go to the third caliper to open up a door in the fucking third caliper to get something going in the fourth caliper. I'm pretty sure. It's like all this, bro. Why would y'all, bro? It's just a bunch of backtracking too. It's not like there's like cool stuff happening in between. It's just you backtracking and get mad that you got to backtrack. Here we go. You know what? I'm gonna save the game. Because after we save this game, like, the game will find a way to screw you over. So I think we gotta get all the way to. Is it basement one? Of the third Calpa, so one, two, three. Barrel angry. Bro, I threw that punch out.
break two at once. I wonder if you can break three at once. Maybe even four at once if you position yourself right. All right, half. Let me make sure Stoma's on. Yeah, because we would definitely get wrecked there. Yeah, so much HP nowadays. So B1. There is, there do be having doors. They do be having doors down here, dude. I ain't even check out this entire place yet. Nope. Oh, dude didn't get any music that time. That was kind of creepy. Hmm. That's how you get up here. This is the story of a future not far off. I heard that from a demon in the lab, and I wonder what it means. It means you need to stop listening to demons in the lab. Test your luck. Even if you do manage to get in there, there's no telling where you're going to end up. So tell me, are you feeling lucky? Nope, I am not because I don't have that much luck. Yeah, I'm just going to follow where we were before. I'll go in my doors. You will test your worth. And then you had to have the correct strength? My guy, you had to make sure you had the strength you needed to to get through this. I mean, if you didn't have the stats, bro, like what? Just come back after you grind. Oh, you you invested into some shitty stats, bro. Try again. Try again later. So this should be B one. All right. And there was a door to the right. So luckily we didn't have to travel too far. No, this isn't a door. This is a the darkness. Yeah, that one is a bit different. That one is related to a title apparently. But there should be a door right there. The Emperor has returned. I want his autograph, so I'm going to look for him. Oh, God. The Emperor. Here we go, boys and girls. There's a shaft leading down to a different Kalpa. We made it back. I gotta do this mini game. I think this one's shorter than usual because of how it is. A lot of money. Okay, I'm I'm hurting. Why do you have to hurt me? I I wish they didn't hurt me, man. But they did. Now we have access to that switch. Bro. Now that door is open, finally. Phew. And this is B2 of the fourth Kalpa. Which is... Luckily, we don't have to worry about RNG. What the... What's L2 doing? Uh, y'all see that? Huh? What's that mean? Um, L2 is like doing something and it's like revealing a hidden room or something They don't tell you that L2 do, does something What the heck is going on 
Y'all see that? I hit L2 and this appears on the map. Is there a specific reason why that's happening? Dev room. This is how we get to the dev room right here, but how do we get to the dev room, y'all? How do we get to the dev room? Oh, y'all can't see it. I don't think y'all can see it. Oh, wait, there it is. All right, first of all, we need to uh, readjust. Oh, yeah, we definitely got to readjust this because that's hella laggy. Yeah, this one's still laggy, too. Here we go. Is there, there's gotta be something. It's, I'm telling you, that's the dev room. We gotta get into it. So clip this, somebody figure this out. Yeah, that's weird. That That is definitely weird. Cause look, it's very clear to me that there's something specific right there. The game just takes you to new game plus immediately. Oh my god. Well, somebody clip that and figure it out later. <sighs> they really just said, alright, you slipped the switch. Now go backtrack some more. Like, bro, why would y'all do this? Padding. Padding at its finest, bro. See, here's the thing. I'm gonna try it on a different map and see if that like affects anything. Oh, I think it's showing what's below it and what's above it. Oh, I think that's what that does. Right? That's showing what's beneath it, right? What the hell's going on here? Huh? That's not what's beneath, right? Yeah, that is what's beneath, okay. Okay, so that's showing us what's beneath certain areas, okay. The dev room is on the last floor of Kagetsuchi. Oh, really? That's for real? Is it possible for a normal player to get to it without bullshit means? Alright, so there was a room. So can we go actually talk to him right now? We might as well if we can. Of course, Camus. The room with the two switches, he's in there? Okay, so apparently there's a... Wait, is that how we learn how to fuse Black Frost? I hope he doesn't try to start a fight, bro. It'd be a shame if I had to give him the hands. like a test room yeah those are generally called uh, dev rooms though right you hear a voice uh oh guess I'm a little late to the party getting down here was like running through a nightmare bro it's black frost was good remember me motherfucker the Emperor of Kabuki Joe has finally made his comeback he to the Frizo hold to the Frize <laughs> He to the Frieza, hold to the Frieza. Oh, and if you're uh, wondering what exactly this comeback entails, I'm not at liberty to say. Don't ask me why I shrank in size either. Trade secret, ho. 
I'm in this hellhole is because I'm trying to fight my way to the top or bottom. Bro. He joins you without your consent, bro. Dun, 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 dun. See, at least when he joins you without your consent, that actually is good because he gives us so many options here. This is actually a, a really cool thing because we can just throw in whatever skills we really want onto him. Because of, uh... all right, we'll probably give him fire stuff. I could throw like fire boost and maybe ice boost on him. I don't know. Fire boost is something we want. I don't know. We'll figure something out for him. But right now, we just want to get the hell out of here. Boom, 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 bam, 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 bam. I don't know if it would be faster for me to just walk back or just go through the rest of this. All right, so everybody on YouTube, don't worry. We got the, the Black Frost. Now what we want to do is get back to the fourth Kalpa. So I'm just going to do a quick jump skip and I'll see you guys soon. Alrighty y'all, we are back in the fourth Kalpa. We're finally about to go further into this dungeon. And now what we want to do, let's go back to the same hallway as before. We could explore the other stuff, but I, I ain't got, it's not worth it. Pretty sure whatever we find is like kind of eel anyway. Nice. Red Rider. Thank you. Aki leveled up. Yo, Raiju is just in the back. Like, yeah, I don't care about items that I'm going to get that are already outclassed. Like, you can find B chains literally any anywhere on the Vortex world. What is this? Can't be used here, jerk. <laughs> they grow restless at your presence. Cool. Oh, Burke, come on, man. So here we go. This is exactly where that switch that we hit was on the other side of that door. And now we have access to the room that we couldn't enter before. The door that we can enter before. Nice dodge, Wukong. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Hmm. <laughs> You know, I'm just doing my Wukong thing, doing my Kong Wu, Wukong, you know what I'm saying? Kong Wu. Everybody was Kong Wu fighting. Wait, man, I'm, only I can say that, bro. Oh, my bad. I threw that entire match, by the way. Dude's sleeping. He got charmed. Nice crit, bro. Thanks for taking care of our lightweight. I appreciate it. We did him kind of bogus, but we're getting rubies, so I don't feel bad. Hey, you activated the switch. Now you can move on. Good luck, asshole. Good job. You wasted six hours of your life going through these stupid calpas. Like, whoa, you didn't have to say that, dude. I enjoyed going through it. Yeah, all right. I saw you raging, bro. <laughs> all right. Let's go through the peephole. And now we, we're about to get to the final Kalpa.
At last, you have restored all of the menorahs to their rightful places. I promised earlier that I would answer all of your questions, sparing no detail. Mm -hmm. It may have occurred to you that the menorahs were not, in fact, stolen. In truth, my master gave them to those whom he deemed worthy. I should beat your ass, old man. I Make me waste my time going through these goddamn calpers. But there is a reason. No, fuck that reason. I'm beating his ass. If you listen to what I have to say, I don't I'm care sure how old he is. <laughs> I don't care how old this man is. Got me running around. The forces of light my and darkness life. have fought throughout the universe, even I hate beyond you. the flow of time. I hate your cane. I hate the way you hold your cane. Their battles have affected every living being in existence. I hate the nurse that assists you. Demons and humans are no exception. They have simply been cogwheels in the infernal machine called war. And the war still rages on, even as we speak. It's like a pretty cool eclipse. However, one individual vowed to put an end to this eternal war. He decided to create a demon of chaos, one that would inherit his will and enter the final battle against the forces of light. The fiends were prepared for the creation of that demon. He believed that by challenging and overcoming death, the demon would become the fruit of destruction. The black hope that we had awaited for so long. That is what he and my master planned. He in the master. The fiends and the oh. labyrinth of Amala were ordeals meant to test you. Who was the other person? One fiend challenged you, unaware of the truth. While another fiend fell to you, dreaming of a future of chaos. Yes, this was all in preparation for the final battle. You have vanquished all the fiends, and now here you stand, just as he hoped. A demon with the strength to become the champion of chaos. Chaos? So... Yeezy. Will you lend your strength to us? Will Yeezy lend his strength? For the sake of all who live in darkness. I cannot force you to help us. Of course not. If you choose to walk the path of a human, then there is no need for you to return here. But, if you have doubts about the laws of the universe, about fate, or the providence of the Absolute One... They really just pushing this true demon ending on you though, like, real hard. <laughs> it's like... You should come to us at the very bottom of the labyrinth. I mean, Ivy, who's gonna say no to that? Like, of course I wanna know what the fuck is going on with the universe and stuff. There, you shall be born again as a full demon body and soul let me conclude by telling you about a human who has crossed your path one who is drifting being kept alive by fate it is my master's wish that you listen before deciding upon a path to take boy at least make a separate save before you do that Yo, is that the, the man journalist? I'm referring to oh, was known Hijiri. as Hijiri in your previous world. He's still floating. He died. But as fate would have it, he carried on in the Vortex world. Think back to when you first met him, to when the conception occurred. Hijiri shared the fate of all the others who perished in the dawning chaos. As he was heading to the hospital where you already were, the conception began, and his life ended. Oh, wow. So why Did was he here? Did it seem odd to you that he was in the Vortex world, unaffected, unchanged? Wouldn't it be odd for my, uh, my friends to also have been unaffected too? It was all because of the mortal sin which he committed. The mortal sin? He was a being toyed with by fate, denied the respite of death. 
and condemned to carry the burden of atonement forever. What? His punishment was to see with his own eyes all that happens in the world. Ah. To record the balance of events through all the ages. This dude was supposed he, he turned into a spectator. A task as endless as scooping water out of the sea with What a was the mortal sin? He what the heck? He was condemned to wander the infinite Oh, he's Cain. He's Cain from Man Cain and Abel. can change the course of his next life by virtue of his karma. But that privilege was taken away from Hijiri. When he tried to, uh... He tried, he saw, he learned everything and then basically tried to make a, try to make something happen for himself, right? Though his body may perish, his soul will remain unsaved. Oof. He must continue on with his task. He lives a cursed, eternal life, just like a demon. Are they going to say what he did, though? Watch and record the history of the world. Witness the entirety of the endless war between order and chaos. That is your punishment for your unforgivable sin. Do you understand now? What is his... Did they say what his unforgivable sin was? You can't just be saying what it... He made an unforgivable sin. What did he do? By the will of Amala, he was given a life of torment and emerged in the vortex Lady. world without realizing that he had died. Was I not paying attention to H out? Did, did they say what he did? <laughs> he used the guy to play SMT. That was his mortal sin. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That could be me. Oh. Soon after, your paths crossed again. Yo, they teasing you so hard. That is probably because you have the potential to affect the course of the new world. So by accompanying you, he has unknowingly been fulfilling his destiny. Yikes. Tragically, he has no memory of his sin, his punishment, or even his death. He believes that he survived the conception and has acted accordingly. As for the result of his efforts, you already know the outcome. In the body of a mannequin, Hijiri challenged those vying for creation. Oh, that's unfortunate. He was in a mannequin. He didn't look like a mannequin, though. And he lost his body once again. Oh, he tried to leave. That was the guy that tried to leave. Okay. So that's where we found the bell, right? He found the afterlife bell, right? So that was He's him. He's now on a journey to a new land of suffering. Oh, damn. He got bodied again. But his will can never be freed. And his sin never redeemed. My dude cannot redeem that gift card ever. Damn, that's crazy. Do you want your life to be predestined as well? Or would you rather choose your own actions? If you do not wish to be ruled by destiny. People are saying he is the se that he's the MC of the second game, Aleph. Ah. Who, who killed YHVH. If you would prefer to walk with demons on a new, untrodden path, then please, come visit my master. You can open the door ahead with the menorah I gave you. Uh, will she... you come meet my master? Maybe. I will. Then, we will be waiting in the deepest part of the labyrinth. Oh, I'm gonna meet him. Psych. I will open the way to the last I'm just gonna get- I'm just there please to get the, the Uber pixie and, and, come see and leave. Us. I'm gonna walk in there, get my pixie, and I'm like, hey, all right, I'm gonna head out there. We look forward to seeing you soon. Until then. Damn. Too bad they made you suffer through the stupid Amala Labyrinth just to get the interesting parts of the game. <laughs> the, the story, excuse me. Hey, bro. Yeah, you did it. You did it. You did it. You did it, bro. Congratulations. Congratulations. You fucking did it. You made it. You made it through the Amala Labyrinth. Now you deserve the story. I appreciate it. His mortal sin was, um... What, what, what was his mortal sin? 
they're not telling us his mortal sin, so I'm gonna just make one up for him. He developed Nocturne to have high encounter rate on heart. Yep, that was his mortal sin. Yep. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm never wrong about stuff like that. Bro, this is a twelve. That probably would have gave me something. His mortal sin was um, forgetting to take the chicken out when his mom told him to take the chicken out, but he didn't do it. And she came home and she had to take the chicken out herself. That was his mortal sin. He fucked up by not taking the chicken out. <laughs> I just forgot to take the, the chicken out the, the the not the oven but the, the freezer, bro. That's a rumor. You created a mortal sin. Mortal sin. He needs to go make some friends so he doesn't have to deal with any more of the any more of the, the stress that comes with, you know, them, oh my God. I just wanted to take a look inside, bro. And they said, yeah, you took a look. Now you just to take a ride to hell. I'm like, oh no. I don't remember this place, no. From the beginning of the game, yes, I get it. This, this, how the tutorial place is gonna be the last place of the game, bro? So Lucifer was straight up trolling you from the beginning. He had you in the final dungeon and shit. <laughs> he, had, he had you getting your ass beat in the final Kalpa. <laughs> it's not cool, Lucifer. <laughs> but did you die? I mean, you here, right? Bro, it's so hard, dude. It's it's too hard, man. Bro, that mini game is kind of a uh, troll. Like I'm hurting, bro. All right, so we're gonna go save our game before we go any deeper into the fifth Kalpa. So everybody on YouTube will be back very soon. Don't go nowhere.